Good morning. I'm Amy Slaughter Myers, one of the co-rectors here at St. Francis Episcopal Parish and Community Center. And I'm going to be taking some uh, time off, some vacation. So I'm recording two SSSs uh, earlier before I leave on vacation. And these are both on Claire of Assisi. St. Claire of Assisi. Uh, the day that the church remembers St. Clair is actually August 11th, and the psalm appointed for that day is a portion of Psalm 63. This is a portion of Psalm 63. O oh God, you are my God, and I long for you. My whole being desires you. Like a dry, worn out, and waterless land, my soul is thirsty for you. Let me see you in the sanctuary. Let me see how mighty and glorious you are. Your constant love is better than life itself, and so I will praise you. I will give you thanks as long as I live. I will raise my hands to you in prayer. My soul will feast and be satisfied, and I will sing glad songs of praise to you. I lie in bed, I remember you. All night long, I think of you because you have always been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I sing for joy. I cling to you, and your hand keeps me safe. This is a beautiful uh, choice for a psalm for Claire. There are echoes that I hear of how Claire lived her life in this psalm. You may know that Claire lived at the same time as Francis. Francis was older than Claire, but the same spirit at work in Francis was at work in Claire, and she too chose a life of voluntary poverty voluntary simplicity in a way that I think, at least I as an American of the 21st century, can't even imagine. She, like Frances, was from a very wealthy family and gave all her possessions, all her wealth, all her ties to family, social network, gave it all away so as to follow Jesus in a concrete way in poverty, in poverty, choosing to live in poverty so that the trust in God that she may feel in her spirit was enhanced or, oh my goodness, I don't even know what the word is, intensified by the trust, concrete trust that she and Francis and the Friars, Claire and her order that she founded, the poor Claires or the little sisters, had to concretely trust because they gave everything away and were absolutely, absolutely dependent on others for food and for water and for bread and for basic sustenance and shelter. So I, I, uh, this, this, these verses that I will give you thanks as long as I live. Your constant love is better than life itself. Your constant love, God, is better than life itself. Claire chose to give everything away for the love of God. And this verse here, as I lie in bed, I remember you. All night long, I think of you. Francis died uh, when Francis was 44 after a long illness. Now that wasn't particularly young by the standards of medieval Europe. Um, but when Francis died, Claire had lived many, many decades uh, after Francis and devoted her life to holding up the way of voluntary poverty as the way of Jesus. And she herself was ill and she was confined to her bed for decades. As I lie in bed, 
I remember you all night long. I think of you because you have always been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I sing for joy. I cling to you and your hand keeps me safe. Amen.